Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Empire Builder. Dad, can I open a bank account? This past weekend, AJ and Gianna came to me, and AJ specifically said, Dad, can I open a bank account. I want to save my money. Both of them have been working various and odd jobs to earn money this summer. You know, we believe that it's important to teach them at a young age that you have to earn. That's really the most important thing is earning. So when he came to me in one way, I was really proud that he's starting to think about money, right? And he hears about it all the time in the house. For years and years, we've, we've talked about it. But it starts to touch a nerve about how are we taught at a young age. And you have to do it very differently. The world and the economy is completely different now. You know, we were taught at a young age to save and keep saving. Save as much as you can, live off what's left over, because you're going to need that money to live off when you retire, right? So you're expecting to save a big chunk save as much as you can tax-free and and hope that you saved enough over all those years to last you long enough which is obviously more and more challenging because medicine keeps improving we're taking much much better care of ourselves so we need to be in retirement years much longer 20 plus years sometimes and it's a very hard thing to you know work for 40 and then have to live off that for 25 or 30. So thank you for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the shares. Please share this out, comments and questions. And I'm going to be changing things up a little bit because I want to get back to a little bit more fundamental investing in money because of all the questions and emails I've been getting. I think that's what's most important. So send me your questions. We'll definitely get back to you. And if not, we'll incorporate them in a future Empire Builder. So we were just talking about Gianna and AJ asking me to open a bank account, and I had to explain to them the differences so they can make an educated decision on if they truly want to open a bank account and if it's worth it. You know, when we're younger, we're taught to save. We're taught to cut costs. We're taught to put as much money in a 401k as we can. But the truly wealthy people in our country, that's not how they were raised, and that's not how they invest. So first thing I talked to him about is the actual money he's made. You know, in our terms, the first thing that happens is taxes are taken out. So I had to explain taxes and what taxes go to. That in itself was a hard thing for him to understand because he's like, well, I'm making the money. Why don't I get to keep it all? I didn't even get into charging him if he had to pay rent or something like that for living in the house for his cost to live there. But so think about it at 10 years old. We keep talking about what happens to the money. Well, the first thing that happens to the money you make is the government takes a percentage of it. So you have to live off that percentage that's left. Right. Then you're going to take that money. And we talked about principal, your principal, the money you have left over and how you can invest it. Right. The first thing you could do is you could put it in the bank account because that's what he has heard and, and taught in, uh, in, in schools and other kids. Other kids that are working now are all opening a bank account. That's the cool thing to do. The problem with that bank account is it's not going to make them any money, right? And it's going to keep it safe, but is it truly safe in the banks? You know, as we know from, you know, our history, there's times when the banks are in distress. So we talked about principal taking his money and putting it in there. We talked about interest and we said, well, okay, if you're going to make 1% on your money or 2%, then you're going to have to pay tax on the interest you make. And he was like, well, I'm getting taxed again. I said, yes, you're getting taxed when you make it. And then you're getting taxed on the interest that that money is making you. So if you're getting 2% in a bank account, you consider you're getting 1%. So he looks at me and he's like, well, what is that going to do for me? I'm like, it's exactly the point. It's not going to do anything for you. We need to teach them at a young age that it's important to have our money work for us. Because if we can instill that in them now, 
it's going to help them so much more later on. So we talked about interest. Then I explained to him about what I've done a lot and I've learned from truly successful people. I said, what if we buy a property together? I take your money, you're an investor in the property, and now, you know, some properties you can make up to 20% on your money you're putting down. If you're using good debt, and I explained to him about how we get a mortgage and we use people's money to pay the rents down. So now he's like 20%. Wow, we were getting 1% net on the other side. He's like 20%. I said, you still got to pay your taxes on that 20%. But the big difference is that 20% now, we talked about compound interest. So you take that 20%, you have that, you save that. It's making money, right? And in real estate, the luxury of it is somebody else is paying down the mortgage. So that's a hidden equity savings right there. So I explained to him, I said, now you have that money and then you can make money on the interest, right? So you could reinvest it in another project. And he was like, well, that sounds great, right? Because now your return is so much better. You're making money. That money you're making is making money for you. But the key to the whole thing is you have to keep generating. So I said, you have to keep working and generating money and doing odd jobs. So it was a really great conversation with him. And Gianna's there. And, you know, turning 13 last week, she's asking these same questions. And she knows a little better because she's got this real estate mind. I, we've been doing that for a long time with her. Um, so we're starting to get to this point where they're asking the bigger questions, not what we're taught to do when we're younger, just because that's the safest way to do it. And we have to talk about risk, and we talked about risk that not every property always makes 20% or always makes, you know, these big returns. But if you do your due diligence and you do your research and you learn, you got to really work at things, learn to learn markets and so forth, that you could do well with things and protect yourself and a risk. I said you could buy Disney stock, which every kid loves Disney. Our kids love Disney. They were like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. I said, okay, well, stocks are at an all time high. You're going to put it in Disney right now. They're like, oh, they opened Toy Story Land. They opened Star Wars Land. That's coming. It's got to go up. Well, if the economy changes in the next year or so, what happens? Less people go to Disney. If less people go to Disney because they can't afford it, well, Disney stock is going to go down. And I said, that's the risk you take when investing in the company. You have no control over that. So we had a great conversation, and it was really exciting to me that we're able to have these conversations and their minds are asking these questions. Really exciting. And we should be doing this. And if you have children, these are the conversations we have to have with them because they're not learning this in school. They're not getting it at all, okay? And the most important thing I told them is your earning power. You have to earn and you always have to earn more because that is the most important asset to things. So whatever field they go into or whatever job they're taking on, that they are going to earn more. And, and Gianna's sitting there saying, well, what if I get people to work for me and then I get a percentage of it? And I was like, well, that's what we're talking about now. Now we're talking home runs, right? She is sitting there thinking, how can I set something up, have people work for me? I get the jobs and I get paid I pay them, and that's what I love about it. That was really, really exciting. So these are the most rewarding conversations you're going to have, and that is what we are expected to do as parents to teach them to be more successful because the earning power is the most important thing. Social Security already is going to get decreased. The last article I read was 2023. So by their age, it'll probably be gone. They should not be de really depending on that. You cannot save yourself and your role in life. You cannot save your way to being wealthy in our country. Things are changing. You have to step up the game. It starts with us teaching our children and starting to instill that in our daily routines. So, again, thank you for your shares. Thank you for your time. I want you guys to have a great one. Go build your empire. Have a great one. Take care.